Okay, objective 67. Graphing rational expressions. Suppose we have the equation y equals 3 over x plus 1. Whenever you graph a rational expression, the first thing you want to do is find the vertical asymptotes. That will occur when the denominator has a value of 0. So what we can do is take the denominator of our current expression, which is x plus 1, and set that equal to 0, and solve that expression. That determines our value of x that will create an undefined expression when we plug it back in, because if we try to do this, 3 over negative 1 plus 1 equals 3 over 0, which is undefined. The second thing we want to do is determine our horizontal asymptote. Now with the horizontal asymptote, if the degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator, it's already of the form y equals 0. So as I look at my expression y equals 3 over x plus 1, and I consider the degree, this has degree 0 the denominator has degree 1. Okay, so because 0 is smaller than 1, that means we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. So I'm going to go to my graph and I'm going to insert my asymptotes. So x equals negative 1. This is my vertical asymptote and y equals 0 is my horizontal asymptote. Remember an asymptote is a line that a graph will never hit. Now I'm going to consider a t-table for this. So I'll find some values so I can draw on the curve for this thing. Okay, I already know that when x is negative 1 this function is undefined. I'm going to use values around negative 1 so I'm going to choose 0 1 and 2, and 3 points on the other side of negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. And one at a time, I substitute these back into the equation y equals 3 over x plus 1, and I calculate what the y value is. So if, y is, if x is 0, y comes out to 3. If x is 1, y comes out to 1 and a half. If x is 2, y comes out to 1. If x is negative 2, it comes out to negative 3. If x is negative 3, it comes out to negative 1 and a half. And if x is 4, it comes out to negative 1. So I can go ahead and plot these points on my graph. So here's 0, 3, 1, 1 and a half, 2, 1. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 3, negative 1 and a half, negative 4, negative 1. And I have seen examples of this curve before, so I have a general idea of what this is supposed to look like. Now remember that your curve is not supposed to intersect the asymptote. It's supposed to infinitely get close to it, but not cross it. So that's a final picture of the graph, y equals 3 over x plus 1.